Hello to everyone. My name is Andrei Zabret, and I would like to present lecture Sustainable Plastic Materials in Hygiene Products. It's pity that today I'm not with you, but anyway, I would like to share all my experience what we learned in the last year and a half. I'm coming from company Tosama. Tosama is a 90-year-old company, and we are very well known for producing digital and applicator tampon. Beside this, we produce all other products under Tosama brand names or under private label. Tosama consists of three programs. We produce healthcare, private label, and FMCG product. In healthcare, we dealing with wound management product, with preventive and patient care product, surgical and service products. Private label, predominantly tampons, and uh, FMCG, fast moving consumer good, personal care, baby and mother care, first aid and household material. Here you could see pi of percentage sales per our programs. In all companies, bigger companies, they have R&D, QC, and QA. R&D, it's quite strong in Tosama, and we are really proud of first Slovenian alginate dressing with chestnut honey. And also we are very proud of two granted and five prepared uh, international patents for the tampons. QC, all the products producing in Tosama, and not only products, also materials, it's tested. So it's tested in three lab, microbiology lab, chemical lab, and physical lab. Why sustainable at the end? We're dealing with single-use disposable product. People use our products every day, and every day create a lot of waste. Second, which is very encouraging uh, moment, that market want to have, and our customer want to have product from biodegradable material. Why sustainable? We put in our policy that we wish to develop novel products that will have a lower environmental burden and will offer user a wider range of waste management options, whether bio-based, whether compostable product. Possible application of bioplastic. Growing interest for more sustainable product in the market, I mentioned before. Target products. Bioplastic replaced convenient plastic, polyethylene, polyprop, which is most uh, big uh, component in, in uh, tampon applicators, blisters, tweezer, cotton tops, and pet care products. Material requirements. When we produce single use, daily use product, we must know that this the first word is safe. It must be safe, it must be really convenient for our customer. For sure, technical process requirements, it's very important. It could be safe, but we couldn't produce this. So we're looking for the material which needs very small modification in our production in our uh, machinery line. First experiment we made, tampon applicator. This is uh, last development in applicator business, digital tampon inside the compact applicator. And applicator, we would like to have biodegradable. We tested six material, but before we get this material, we found out that not such tampon exists on the market and also no ready-made material uh, is available. So we tested 
all materials for another application and we found out that uh, all materials tested till now have, let us say, two weakness. First, softness is really low and uh, we couldn't produce precise thin wall tubes, especially with very precise uh, dome of the tampons. Second trial we made was tweezers. Tweezers is um, components in CPT, customer procedure trail. Uh, we tested two material, both material we inject, we mold without any problem. We was happy till material was packed in CPT and exposed to the steam sterilization. Because we noticed that after steam sterilization, material become really stiff and uh, tweezers lose flexibility, so no, uh, it, it was not usable anymore. Here we have two options, whether to choose different uh, kind of sterilization, like E-beam or ethyl ethylene oxide, or to found another material which could be steam sterilized. Why we, what we have learned? We have learned that due to specific requirements like sterilization, regulation requirements, implementation of bioplastic into production of hydrogen product is slow. We need to collect information I presented here almost a year and a half. But with the last uh, test, we found out that it's feasible. Materials we tested, it's more flexible. We could produce thin wall tubes at the end. And also, when we expose such tweezers to uh, E-beam sterilization, do not change properties at all. This is my conclusion. Thank you very much. And uh, have a nice uh, evening together.